A mysterious 12,000 year old sphere found in Brazil that is believed to enhance brain thoughts, enhance your intelligence. Of course, this is just a theory. We don't know if that's possible. There are those who believe that even placing some kind of a crystal pyramid underneath your bed, under your head, will somehow increase your intelligence or make you feel better, change your uh, physical magnetic, electromagnetic uh, energy into something more beneficial for you. But anyway, in the late 1970s, a 60 centimeter ball of quartz crystal was found again in underwater research in the same area of Bimini Andros. The perfection of the cutting and the grinding troubled scientists. And we don't stop here. It was just perfectly rounded off. How was this made? How did they have this technology 12,000 years ago was the question. Now, this uh, sphere was found in a gold case at the top of a sunken pyramid with a base of about 37 meters. The pyramid was made of some smooth, glossy stone that lost its luster, but uh, mainly was not covered with underwater plants. In other words, they had no, there was no um, seaweed growing on top of it or coral. It was estimated to have sunk about 12,000 years ago, half buried in the sand along with other smaller and larger pyramids. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now we know that this area has by some people been uh, thought of as being part of the western part of the sunken continent of Atlantis. Now in the center of the sphere, they said there's a perfect pyramid of grayish quartz and inside it, there are two other pyramids inside each other. The University of Florida has exposed this to public view five times according to Paul Brandon's book, Secret Egypt. And so far, so good. But its weight is half of what it should be. It caused changes in the weight of metal objects that would be found next to it. So is this exotic material? We know that another thing that we looked at as being exotic material was monoatomic gold. That uh, we know that that is not on the table, the Mendeleev table of elements. Exotic materials do exist, but they cannot be explained and they're not on the table of elements. So this here says that it changes the weight of metal objects that are found next to it. When a person approaches it, he is charged by this energy and emits light in a certain direction, producing a strange ionic wind wave, which multiplies according to the number of people approaching it. Phenomena are subject to change along with the thinking of observers. It multiplies the energy and thought of the person approaching, and the case is still being studied. Its origin is considered extraterrestrial due to unknown technology. So, uh, what good that we feel that we are the only ones in our universe? Are we the only ones? Now, this photo of the spherical sphere, iridescent from Brazil, has nothing to do with the post's finding. Now, um, it doesn't mean that it's extraterrestrial. It could be because, as we said, this magic number, 12,000 years old, uh, is at the time of the Younger Dryer's Comet impact. We know that that impacted mostly on North America, mostly on North, uh, North America, Northern Hemisphere, and that it was, they found, already found 18 large parts, some of them as large as one to two kilometers, others as large as buses. And um, that had uh, created a very large catastrophic event impacting the Earth and, and on various um, uh, locations, mostly Northern Hemisphere, 
And in North America, of course, it was the end of the Clovis culture and the megafauna, megaflora. And it was a type of an extinction level event. And it could be that other types of creatures did live. And we were told that from ancient texts, they uh, tell us that it's about, it was about 9,564 BC that Atlantis sunk. So it could have been Atlantean technology. Of course, we were told by Thoth the Atlantean, who wrote the Emerald Tablets, that Atlanteans were, quote-unquote, extraterrestrial as well. So, uh, anyway, you, you come up with your own conclusions. This is something that I've translated for you from a Greek article concerning this uh, Brazilian quartz sphere that seems to be another uh, example of uh, exotic material because of the fact that it changes the energy of the person next to it and also the weight of the metal objects that are found next to it. So, please leave your comments and thank you for your support.